Hi friends, welcome to Positive Power with your host, Michelle Dion. Thank you for joining me for another week. Bear with me today. I had a great last weekend of summer. Um, just absolutely fantastic. And so as the trade-off to this good time, I've lost my voice, but that's okay. Because you can bear with me. You know, you know, fake it till you make it, right? So we will persevere and get through this. So this week I wanted to talk to you about um, one of your powers that we talked about, right? Over the last few weeks, we've talked about the power of, you know, um, the food that you eat. So very important and how food is really medicine, right? It's the natural medicine way before Big Pharma. That's what we did. We got the medicine from the food. So I was reading an interesting document, um, not a document, but an article that somebody shared with me. And it was called, it is called, um, 10 things the processed food industry does not want you to know and that's the reality food is big business and it's big business that has very low control mechanisms on it for example did you know that like a great example is Doritos do you know they have a team of scientists that take the different flavors and they scientifically mash them together so that you're stimulated in such a way that it's addictive. You're stimulated in such a way that you want more. And I'm not knocking on Doritos. Never met a chip I didn't like, but, um, cause it's all good in moderation, right? I'm not saying you shouldn't eat any processed food, but be selective and control your portions. Don't eat it all the time. If the majority of your choices are healthy, you will live a longer, better quality life like are you after quantity or quality right that's the true question so that's one of the things they do is they have these scientists and they make sure that of course they want the most bang for their buck right but the thing is there's nothing good about the processed food your body doesn't know even what to do with it because your body um processes natural things so when you eat an apple it goes it trickles trickles down um, and your stomach knows how to deal with it because we are made of nature. It is made of nature. But when you have red dye color number A, B, C, F, G, A, and then you have a whole bunch of other words that I can't even pretend to say that are all man-made, your body doesn't know how to react. And that's how we end up with muffin tops, which leads to obesity, which leads to diabetes. You know, I did some research on in Canada the stats um, diabetes in 2015 3.4 million people were suffering from diabetes our fellow Canadians that's nine percent so for every group of a hundred people nine of them have diabetes now um, that being said I also looked up overweight now overweight and obese two different things um, so I just went general. I just went with overweight. Overweight men. 40% of men over 18 are overweight. Now, the good news is um, that that is down. In uh, 2003, it was 41.3%. So we're learning. We're educating ourselves. We're going in the right direction. Because at the end of the day, you know and I know, there's no money in healthy people. What is the motivation for Big Pharma, you know, whatever, to get us healthy? They're going to lose all that money on those scripts. They're going to lose all that money in all those societies that are trying to cure things that we know there's cure for, cures for in other places. So you need to use your power and make healthy choices and make a decision that you're going to be better to, for yourself, right? So more whole foods, read the labels. Um, support your farmer's market, all that sort of stuff. You have power. You know, have you ever been out west? Have you ever been out to like BC? Remember a couple years ago, my daughter and I did that free, um, free hugs across Canada adventure. And we drove in our little car all the way from Sarnia to Vancouver and back. It was so absolutely cool. One thing we noticed, two things, two things we noticed. One, not a lot of fast food. We did not see one Taco Bell. Um, there was a few of them. We only saw, I think Harvey's and Subway were the only two that we saw consistently, but still not a lot. We also noticed hardly any overweight people. 
it was really like so noticeable that they're healthier that they're eating you know they're stopping at farmers markets instead of going to grocery stores so a very important power because you know family and friends are so important and not only do you want to extend your life so you have more time with them you want to have quality of life you don't want to be the person in the chair that can't participate because their knees are sore or they're not feeling well all the time or they're all jacked up on meds and you know they dump you down right that's the reality so look after yourself make smart choices the time is now for change it is never too late every day that ends in Y is a new day so there you go I hope you enjoyed the video thanks for grouping with me thanks for putting up with my voice and we'll see you again next week take care and don't forget you're so awesome